think Harley Davidson is the only dealership that I know of that they take somebody out with you and you got to follow them, but it's all good. We're on the Harley Davidson Roadster 2016 based off of the Sportster line. Got a tachometer and uh, a digital speedo. I'll be test driving this one and then they're going to have me test driving a 1200 Custom which I'm not really interested in but it's all good. Uh, really like the Roadster. It sits up pretty high. It has 19 inch uh, wheels in the front, 18 in the rear. I know it would sound better with some Vance and Hines on it. Uh, but for right now just stock pipes from factory inverted forks in the front has a sporty look to the to it a chopped back fender and uh it's out on a sunday here in san diego on marina boulevard ripping it up The pegs feel pretty planted, just the uh, factory ones. Handlebars are not too bad. Um, not wide and not overly heavy. It doesn't, uh, even though it's lower than the tank, it's not too bad. Uh, this bike compared to a regular Sportster like the uh, Iron 883, sits a lot higher, but I feel like I can lean, the lean angle would be a little bit uh, more for this bike. This is my second time uh, doing a uh, review on this bike. The first time my camera angle was not too uh, great and I didn't have my camera set up in the best way for me to uh, display uh, this bike and be able to talk to you at the same time. This is a five speed. Uh, Gear ratio is kind of tall. Uh, it does have a uh, gear indicator on here for you. And of course, uh, Harley Davidson, uh, they have uh, once the left turn signal on the left hand side and the right turn signal on the right hand side. They do have a flash to pass on here right beside the horn if you can see that and nice little cruise nice sporty uh tires some good rubber on the this bike here i don't know where he's trying to go but it means i get to gun it in between the lights i don't mind Originally like naked bikes, so this one's uh, not too much difference as far as the uh, height of the bike, but um, I do like uh, Harley Davidson's. I've test driven some uh, a many, a few number of bikes, and um, you know, I really like this one do have to uh, press the signal to cancel it is not self-canceling I'm about at 3,000 rpms I'm in fourth gear cruising along about 52 miles an hour It feels planted. The seat's not too bad. It's uh, got a nice little uh, 
step up for the uh, two up passenger seat where it rests at my tailbone and kind of holds me in place pretty good. I guess we're about to make a stop, so I'm gonna get down. The gear indicator when you gear down and your hand is on the clutch, it doesn't show you what gear you are in at the time. But I guess this is gonna be it for this ride here. We're gonna sit here and talk about the bike a little bit. So Oh, did I turn? Okay. There we go. So, I decided... This is the second video, so I decided not to... Ride that 1200 Custom back. I'm really too much like that. Um, bike anyway, compared to the Roadster so we noticed on the bike if you're familiar with uh, any Sportsters at all uh, right in front of where you would put the oil filter there's a stabilizer there which is uh, you know the salesman here he thought that was pretty awesome. So they put a lot of um, great engineering into this bike. And a big thing is you got adjustable suspension in the back and the rear. And uh, that's pretty cool. I guess you do need that for a two up, but this bike kind of has that cafe racer um, type feel I hear people say and I guess I could see that but I never really well I have written one cafe racer but see it has that cafe racer feel you got the uh, dual disc brakes in the front one in the rear of course it's belt drive um, here at the dealership in uh, San Diego they can um, can't really sell you pipes from the factory because of the emission laws here in California but um, but they can uh, refer you to a place so before I end the video I guess I'll just say thank you to uh, San Diego Harley Davidson for letting me do this demo ride uh, before I was told that this is in the low teens for pricing so uh, it probably run you around 15000 for this bike, possibly. I took my time shifting there. I did see a motorcycle cop earlier, so I guess I better take it easy. I always gotta watch out for vehicles when you or riding on a motorcycle especially when you're test riding it and you don't own that <laughs> yeah what a great way to start my Sunday morning it is tall my hands leg just got hooked onto the peg they stick out so far have an all right sound to it I won't say it is the best sound but put the right pipes on here and 
got a great sounding machine. The 1200. Instead of the 883 like you see on most Sportsters or 1200 Custom, but you got 1200cc. It's gonna be a comfortable bike to ride on. You do sit kind of tall. Uh, last test drive, I got it up to about 75 miles an hour and I felt uh, pretty good. Um, didn't feel like I was a wall up against the wind. Does have a low profile, kind of how the tank and uh, how it goes a little bit over the uh, handlebar. So the Speedo has a low profile. It doesn't tilt towards you like uh, on the 883. It just a um, kind of flat. Uh, so it's easy to be read. Got the tack there and the digital speedometer, which I love. And uh, all right, we're moving a little slow, so like this truck in front of us. at about two and a half RPM. All right, we're passing. Gotta make sure you hold on because <laughs> when you hit that uh, bike up and get up in speed and you shift, Make sure that left hand is holding on. Gonna sit in fourth gear until we make it back to the dealership. And a nice little ride here on this stretch. He asked me that I want to go on the interstate. I did, it didn't matter to me where, but you know, it's going for a test ride. A really uh, easy bike to, um, I would say, to shift up in is pretty easy. Uh, shifting and that truck doesn't know where he's going I don't think those are good <laughs> 